Hello all, my name is Mrs. Turina and I teach hospitality and catering, which is a vocational award. So aim of the hospitality and catering award is to enable students to gain a good foundation of knowledge, understanding and skills required by the hospitality and catering industry. You will have the opportunity to develop a variety of skills, including food preparation, cooking and organizational skills, time management, planning, communication and problem solving. Success in the course will enable you to develop onto further training if you decide to choose a career in this industry. So hospitality and catering is an exciting and creative course which focuses on practical cooking skills. There are two units involved. Unit one, 40% of your overall grade and unit two, 60% of your grade. So you have two attempts in each um, unit in year 10 and 11. So unit one is externally assessed. It's a written examination, 90 minutes, based on hospitality and catering industry. The external assessment will take place at the end of year 10 and is a written paper. You must pass this paper with a minimum of 23 marks to achieve a level one pass in the course. You'll be graded level two distinction star, level two distinction, level two merit, level two pass or level one pass. Now unit two. Unit two is internally assessed. It's your coursework. There are nine elements to it. It's all about nutrients, nutritional requirements, cooking methods, all about the dishes you are making. You also need to plan and make two dishes in the three hour practical exam. So why choose hospitality and catering? Because there are different great jobs and opportunities available. The hospitality and food industries are two of the biggest employers worldwide. Hospitality and catering is Britain's fourth largest industry and accounts for 10% of the total workload, making you more employable. That's good to know if you want to work in this sector or simply use it as a stepping stone for your first part-time job. The following jobs can be available. Catering manager, chef, dietitian, food scientist, food technologist, product developer, food journalist, and more. So if you enjoy working with food and are prepared to work hard in both written and practical lessons, then this is the course for you. If you choose this course, you will be asked to bring your own ingredients once a week. So I hope this introduction has given you a good insight of this exciting course and I look forward to teaching you all in September. Thank you.